about we head overseas, take a look at the size of this protest today in Cairo, Egypt. Tahrir Square, tens of thousands of protesters reeling from tear gas, but determined to send a message to the world about their new duel over democracy. And ABC's Alex Marquardt spent the day right there in the middle of the action. They came by the tens of thousands, hurling stones, pulling down barricades. Riot police fired volleys of tear gas and retreated. As the masses grew, President Mohamed Morsi left the palace. Ever since the revolution that captivated the world, Egypt has struggled on its road to democracy. Two weeks ago, President Morsi gave himself unchecked powers, he says, to put Egypt on a democratic path. There was outrage on Tahrir Square. We were there. No one here believes Morsi when he says that these powers are just temporary. They say they've traded one tyrant for another. Then a surprise. Morsi's Islamist allies rushed through a new constitution. Critics say it could make Egypt more Islamic and doesn't do enough to guarantee freedoms, including women's. Egyptians will have a chance to vote on the new constitution in two weeks. Tonight's protesters could boycott. But for now, it looks like it will go ahead and the president may very well get his way. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Jerusalem.